Hi friends and VRs at VMI. I want us to think today about a text from chapter 15 in the Gospel of Luke. Listen to these words. Now all the tax gatherers and sinners were coming near him to listen to him. And both the Pharisees and the Sadducees began to grumble, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. And he told them this parable. What man among you, if he has a hundred sheep and has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open pasture and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I tell you that in the same way there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. I thought about this text and I thought about the fact that we seem to have a lot of problems relating to people in different stratas of life. Sometimes we have trouble with people like a few years ago when the AIDS epidemic really had us frightened and we again kind of isolated those people that we felt were different from us. We do it for people economically. When my family and I deliver meals on wheels, we see some homes that are pretty much like ours, and we see some folks who are really scuffling and having a hard time. It's easy to go through life and ignore some of those people, just kind of pass by and pay no attention, not to think about them. But Jesus, I think, is saying in this parable, no one should be left out. As tough as it is for us to learn how to relate to and spend time with people who are from a different economic strata or social strata or just different in the fact that their circumstances makes them kind of unique. But Jesus is saying, those are my children too. They're important to me. Even that one lost sheep needs to be found. We need to learn to see other people, not as the poor, not as the alien, not as those people whose lifestyle is so different from us, but to realize we are all God's children and no one should be left out. Pray with me. Lord, help me to see not just people who are like me or people to see the differences in people, but to see everybody as a child of God who needs love and forgiveness and needs to be treated with dignity. And give me the courage not only to see them, but to treat them with love and dignity. Amen.